because I'm a Christian and I'm standing in solidarity with my Christian brothers and sisters. And uh, I heard about the problems um, in February this year and my heart broke when I heard that families, children, mothers um, were just being slaughtered needlessly. And I think everyone who has faith should stand up against injustice. My name's Kim Merry. Um, I'm a, a church leader with my husband, who's the pastor. Um, I'm also a CEO of a homeless charity in Havering. My name is Dr. Kohol Shadrach Yonem. I'm the president of the TIF community in the United Kingdom. Basically, we are here to protest against the killings in southern Kaduna. Um, we are here because we have freedom in a foreign country to express our grievance against the ills of the government in Nigeria. We are here because Nigerians don't have the luxury of freedom which we are experiencing here in a foreign country. In Nigeria, when they speak against the ills of the society, the government oppresses them, the government uh, persecutes them using the military. And therefore, that is why we are here to lend our voice, to let the world know that what is going on in Southern Kaduna is unacceptable and must stop. At the moment, um, we are sad because um, the state governor has taken sides with the Fulanese. He has taken sides, if you listen to his interview with channels, he said the Fulanese are peace-loving people. And he was um, alleging that it was the Southern Kaduna people that were retaliating that we're experiencing these attacks. Um, he has also taken sides because he said that um, when the Fulani man is killed, it doesn't make news, but when Christians are killed, it becomes genocide, it makes the news. That is downplaying what is actually happening in Southern Kaduna. And as the governor of um, Kaduna State, um, that was really pedestrian. Another thing that is very upsetting is the fact that since this killing started, he has not visited the people of Southern Kaduna. My name is Paul Yusuf. I am a member of the Board of Trustees of Southern Kaduna People's Association in the Diaspora. We have come out here to protest. This is a peaceful rally of protest for against the killing of Southern Kaduna Christians. My name is um, Pastor Dr. Joseph Carey. Uh, I'm a part and parcel of uh, Sokapa, the Southern Kaduna People's okay, uh, Union in Europe, in London. I'm also the pastor of Glorious Ministries International in London. I'm here because uh, I'm tra we're here to protest peacefully against the genocide against uh, Christians in Southern Kaduna, which has been going on for years now, and especially the last uh, six months. It's peaked, and uh, the government is doing nothing, and we want the world to know about it. Boko Haram, who have killed more than a thousand people in Nigeria now, they are being integrated back into the society. They are being allowed to move freely because they say they've repented. About 603 were graduated um, about two months ago. Um, that is unacceptable. People who have killed loads of people, loads of Nigerians, are allowed to integrate back into the society without any repercussion. Yet you use the military, yet you use the security forces to intimidate and victimize the people of Southern Kaduna. That is unacceptable. If you can't step up to your responsibility as the governor of Kaduna said, then we ask you to resign. We ask you to step aside and stop selling the narrative that you are selling that the elites in Southern Kaduna are showing videos to the world in a bid to get money so that they can increase their bank accounts and then they are showing um, these pictures and claiming that it's genocide. It is actually genocide. When you say there are Fulanis in Niger, when you say there are Fulanis in Chad, when you say there are Fulanis in, in Senegal and they are all coming to Nigeria and you are saying that they need to be protected, when you are compensating them, you said you sent your government to go and identify these people in their various countries and then Nigerians don't even have their own security in their own country. You are securing the lives and properties of people in other countries. That is unacceptable. As Nigerian, all lives matter.